Welcome everyone, iOS 12, iPhone 7 versus iOS 14, iPhone 7, let's get right into the speed test. So first of all, you can see these are iPhone 7s, both matte black and both 32GB. They're also on the exact same Wi-Fi network, as you can see right here, and they've also been restored to the exact same backup, therefore this is a fair test. So we're going to start off by closing out all the applications from the multitasking. Usually I start off with a boot up test. However, this iOS 12 firmware was uh, not installed correctly and therefore it takes about five minutes to boot up into the operating system. So I don't want to, you know, have that in the video. So let's start off with the settings up, uh, three to one. About the same. And we'll go to general. iOS 14 slightly faster. About, that was the same. Um, you can see 12.1.4 iPhone 7 32 gig on the right. Um, 14.0 iPhone 7 32 gigabyte as well. So we'll start off with FaceTime 3 to 1, iOS 14 slightly faster. We'll do Canada about the same, photos about the same, camera iOS 14, mail iOS 14, clock same, maps iOS 12 weather about the same the notes ios 14 there's a bit of hesitation on 12 uh, reminders say the same news ios 12 so let me just close out that i will do stocks ios 12 we'll do books And iOS 12 again, and by a significant margin as well. We'll do App Store. Uh, I actually um, tapped on iOS 12 later, but it seemed like it won. We'll do, we'll do that again. So we'll go App Store. Yeah, iOS 12 winning uh, consistently. We'll do iTunes. And I would say that was our iOS 14. So we're going to do the wallet app ios 14 i mean to be fair they do have completely separate ui we'll do home ios 12 and we're going to do music ios 12 we'll do messages i'd say 14 we'll do phone ios 14 so like 12 had a bit of stutter there which was quite um interesting We'll do files. I'd say the same, maybe 14. Do find my. Mm, iOS 12 is less views to load, so you could say either way, to be honest. Um, we'll do tips. And iOS 12 as well. Do contacts. About the same. Watch. iOS 14. Let's go to some more apps, voice memos. So it was a bit of stutter on 14. Uh, compass, about the same. Calculator, about the same. So I would say first party apps, iOS 14 isn't as good as it should be now. For some context, iOS 13 destroyed iOS 12, but I would say they were trading blows, so that's just something you might want to know. If you want to see my iOS 14 versus iOS uh, 13, iPhone 7 speed test, and iOS 13 versus 12 speed test for the iPhone 7, they are both in the description down below. So just so you know. Let's do third party apps or the YouTube. And big margin for iOS 14. Netflix. I'm liking this. Big margin for 14 again. Whole arrow. Consistently big margins. Consistently big. We'll just do that. Let's just make sure there's no lag or whatever. The game does load up first on 12 though. So, yeah, seems fine. It's running at 30 FPS though, not 60, which is slightly unfortunate, but game isn't lagging or whatever. So that's pretty darn good. Um, Paper IO 2. 
consistently loading up fast on iOS 14. Interesting. Oh, iOS 12 one. That was a surprise. Subway servers. No, I messed that one up, so try again. A bit of lag on 14 with the startup animation. Interesting. That was interesting. I want to do that again. I want to do that again. So we'll go back to Subway. Yes, again, there was just a bit of delay in the animation. Okay, I was 12-1. Alright, see so snake versus block. Again, a bit of a lag on iOS 14. About the same. So, what I would say with third party applications, it seems like um, as the RAM was filling, the iOS 14 device started to slow down, but initially it was shredding iOS 12. So, I don't know. Uh, let's do multitasking. So, we'll do FaceTime. Oh, iOS 14 kept in the multitasking, but 12 didn't. And we'll do calendar, both had to reload, photos, iOS 14, um, is, yeah, wow, okay, uh, let's do reminders, interesting, so multitasking, iOS 14 has done an amazing job, that might actually explain why the app launch times were reduced, because it wants to keep the applications in multitasking, whereas iOS 12, once the multitasking starts to get full, um, it doesn't care, it just shoves apps out the multitasking. However, it does improve overall, you know, app launch time. So if I was to conclude my speed test, I would say the app launch times um, for first party applications on the device, I would say it was about the same. I do remember iOS 14 is in beta, so it could always improve, but at its current state, and iOS 14 beta 5 is really stable. So I would say, you know, app launch times have stayed the same, which isn't a bad thing when you're comparing 12 to 14 but when you watch my 13 versus 14 video you will realize that um 13 beats ios 14 so you probably shouldn't update if you are planning on using this phone for a bit longer and then the third party applications when your ram is empty ios 14 shreds powerhouse shreds ios 12 however once the ram starts to get full um ios 12 completely demolishes ios 14 but that does result in worse multitasking ios 14 does have better multitasking compared to ios 12 and being honest here it's a lot better than the iphone 6s has ever done because with the 6s the second you load up games no applications stay in the multitasking so that's my speed test comparison i'm kind of impressed and disappointed multitasking on 14 even though it looked pretty darn good i remember i did a, a ios 13 speed test I remember that that was pretty darn good as well. So I'm actually looking forward to the iOS 14 versus 13 speed test video. Make sure you are subscribed so you do not miss it. I'll see you guys later. Make sure you leave a like and bye bye.